All right, welcome to First Looks with Buddha Man. This is Spencer Dodd Live Nation. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at Bob Kim Pieces today, which was recently added to the play pack. And uh, I think a lot of people are just kind of tossing this game to the side and not really giving it a look. And it's definitely a really interesting title. It's a lot of fun. It's a platformer game um, where you control a spaceship. It's, uh, it's pretty heavily physics-based. Very dependent on gravity, obviously, with the spaceship um, and the things in the world that you interact with. And you have a couple modes to play with. Uh, there's the adventure mode, which is the main story of the game, where you control the main character, Bob, and his spaceship. And you're looking for pieces to his ship so you can get home, basically, and uh, interact with these different puzzles. And there's also the VR, um, where you get a playground you're seeing the uh, beginning of this and you can see the parts that are available and in the playground you have unlimited amount of parts and you can really mess around with the ship and how you create it and then uh, also in the VR there's different uh, challenges um, <clears throat> and some of them already have ships made that you can use um, where you get a certain amount of parts to make your own here you can really see some of the creativity you're allowed. No, obviously this is this whole video is sped up a little bit, so you can see me mess around with it a little bit. But basically, you have a circular circular ship um, with eight sockets um, that you can connect these modules to, which are basically just like a piping system. So after you build up this uh, piping system with the modules, uh, which are really just using for how many endpoints you want and their direction. Uh, you also have the tools, which are small, medium, large thrusters, and then uh, push and pull beacons, which are beams, which I'll show uh, in a little bit, but just uh, right into the playground. So uh, you can see a little bit of the physics at play. Uh, I'm just kind of playing around here. Uh, it's a pretty simple ship. Uh, left and right small thrusters just for moving left and right. Kind of this floating idea. And then uh, a bunch of little large thrusters, which is, as you can see, I keep it in the ceiling just because they're overpowered. But you can see you can move quite far. Um, so, um, I'm just kind of me messing around with the ship builder. Let's make a little more intricate of the ship. Because um, you do have that unlimited amount of parts. And, uh, so basically what I'm trying to do here is make a ship that can, uh, instead of just rock back and forth, have a little more turning to it. Uh, just so I can fly through all these blocks in the playground. Uh, really show you how you can interact with some pieces in the world. And then uh, I'm also going to add the pole beams and the push beams to the tops and bottom. Uh, and just while it's going on, I'll point out in the top of the screen, you do have uh, ship controls. Um, you will see me save this ship later on, but there's also uh, a clone tool and a redo and undo. Uh, but uh, So the, as you can see, the ship, you can uh, turn with it. I just kind of place the thrusters so you can do that. And I really just... It's fun to mess around with the physics of the game. <clears throat> and I don't know, games like this to me are always more about being a toy than a game. And playing through the story and stuff is as fun, and I definitely would recommend doing it because it's a fun little story, and the like the opening sequence was cool. Um, but it's a good idea to just trial this game and uh, you know, you, I think you only have to do a few of the chapters and so you can get right in the uh, mess around with this and I think even if you don't have the play pack you want to demo it um, that's a great way to do it and uh, you know the play pack's definitely been getting good there's a lot of good stuff in there there are a lot of older titles but um, I always find there are games that I would have probably never played 
uh, in any other form. Um, because they are a lot of obscure titles. But so you can see here I'm adding the uh, pull beams to the front and bottom. Or the bottom's a pull, the top's the push. And then I have this uh, turning motion that can kind of roll around the ground. And you can really see how well the physics handles in this game. Which I think is something that's been really growing in popularity in uh, today's gaming. Um, like if you look at games that, like Angry Bird, which is uh, crazy popular uh, for how simple it is, and it's really just based on physics. So it's always good to see in a game, <clears throat> and uh, this does it well. It's fun, and I mean I had I played around with this for a large portion of my actual playtime in this game and. This is really interesting, and you do have a lot of cre creativity making these ships. Uh, as you can see, this is a pretty funky ship. It's kind of weird, but I like it. All right, we'll uh, move on so you can see some of the other stuff. As you can see, there's uh, multiple VR missions there, and some of them you only have certain parts for. <clears throat> There's a few of them that come with like a pre-built ship that's uh, appropriate for the, the puzzle that you're going to be getting. As you can see there, that was a pre-made custom ship. There's quite a few that are like that. Uh, they do offer other parts too, so there's definitely a lot of uh, replayability to this game because all the puzzles really you can handle differently for the most part uh, with building a ship at the very least. And uh, it, with physics based games, everything isn't going to fall and move the same way it did last time, so that always adds uh, replayability to games like this. So you can just see some of the actual uh, story of the game and the animation and the world. And it's a pretty well done game and it looks nice. Um, there's different ways you interact with the world, uh, predominantly with these mechanical puzzles that rely on like gravity mostly and uh, you, there's also like the vines that you can burn up with your thrusters uh, this is only the fifth chapter so like the uh, the vines are new to this chapter so I'm sure there will be more interaction with other objects um, just watching some of the trailers for in the preview screenshots and stuff you see like the ship and a ball rolling things like that um, uh, a lot of the puzzles are just like I was saying like mechanical uh, removing a piece and a tree falls down stuff like that but, so it's definitely an inter interesting game so check it out um, and as always thanks for watching uh, if you have any questions or anything leave them in the comments uh, just email whatever